Greetings programs, I'm Young Napoleon and I want to welcome you back to my Victoria T Let's Play series. This is episode 17 of a Portugal run with no mods and all of the DLC. We've made a little more uh, progress in Africa recently, picking up a couple more colonies. Uh, we noticed that France is coming down from the north of Sokoto, so we're trying to sneak in through the south right here. We're getting close to being in a position to where we can start maybe trying to conquer some of these lands. They're still uncivilized and they're not allied with or protected by anybody. So I'm hoping, like I had a Texas run where I went to war with them and then France out of nowhere uh, joined in to protect them. So I'm, I'm hoping that if I, and that might have just been because as Texas I was relatively weak and France decided to throw their weight around. Uh, and maybe they won't do that this time, I'm hoping. Uh, we're working on text to try and get our money up. I got a lot of low-hanging fruits that I want to catch up on. Uh, in the meantime, let's get these guys. I don't think they are... We've got one unit who's not going to reinforce. We've got a combat width of 16, and our max is 20, I believe. Yeah. So we're still not full up right now. I may go ahead and... Let's see what I can make, actually. In Africa, I can make four units. That would put me at my max. So we're going to go ahead and make another infantry. And then I think, do you want to go for cavalry or dragoons? I think we're going to go for a couple of dragoons. And that'll give me a really solid front line in Africa. We're going to send the, what is this, the first? Send them up here. Let's make sure we've got good uh, supply limit. 37.5, 25, 50. Here we go. Okay. We'll send them up here. So that they don't suffer attrition from sitting on a and then we're going to keep up with the ironclads. Let's get another couple going here. And Lisbon and Beja. Okay, let's see. Communists are atheists. So we want to encourage atheism. We are unpaused. Attack on the workhouse. Let's see. Pops in Alentejo. Alentejo. Become 50% more liberal and gain plurality. Uh, let's see. Or the liberals get more militancy and lose plurality. Uh, no, I don't want the militancy. Thank you very much. And I do want the liberalness. So that maybe I can start making some of these reforms. Oh, I think I've got... Yeah. Let's go ahead and send you into the island and then join you up, send you back over here. And pause. Go ahead and merge you back together. The elections are now finished. Coalition of liberal and anarcho-liberal parties. Wow. Let's see. So, Partido Radical. Finish the research of practical steam engine. Mining output farm. Okay, very good. Let's see, what does, what does this do for me? Free trade. Means I can't crank up my uh, tariffs. Is a fair means I can't do anything with the. At least they're pro military. Uh, let's see. And I know they get a little spicy when. Let's just make sure. Protectionism. That lets me do the tariffs. Planned economy. It's not quite. St oh no, planned economy is what I want, I think. Uh, which keeps the, the capitalists from doing all sorts of things that I don't want them to do. Full citizenship increases the assimilation rate and pro-military. 
Okay, yeah, let's go communist. Portugal is communist now. Uh, which means the first thing we're going to do is crank up the tariffs. Start making a little bit more money here. Uh, yeah, that's they're buying supplies. What have we got? Spain wants military access. No, thank you. Oh, let's go ahead and we don't want to uh, waste these points. We're going to increase relations with France. And oh, they've become Germany now. Do I still have an alliance? Okay, good. 200. Good. Uh, we'll get on Russia's good side, I think. I'm still at number eight. Looks like we're about to boot Austria. Right. I yeah. wonder how much longer I have to go. Uh, let's see. We'll stay on the USA's good side. They will not accept too many great powers. Uh, we'll still we still want to stay on the on the US's good side. Increase relations. I'm, oh yeah, technology. Let's see. We are in industry. We're gonna go for the mechanical production. Pause. In them old cotton fields, rock my cradle, gain prestige, farmers gain Consciousness and lose militancy or more prestige. Stockpile changed by minus 10 cotton. Papal states. Relations between the papal states. Ah, that's do that sounds good. And now military access from the Netherlands. Got some armies getting built, right? Did you wowza? Wow, they lost a lot of it. It took a lot of attrition trying to get over there. That's and I don't think they're going to increase until I do that. So let's let them there we go. Let's let them recover. Yowch, that was painful. Do whatever we can, let's see. Outbreak of smallpox. So I'd lose population in South Cameroon. 10% or by 15. Lesser of two evils once more. What? Seriously, France? Seriously? That's annoying. I should have gone for that earlier. Uh, do I want to contest it? Let's see what happens. I don't want to go to war with France. But, um... I do want that territory. I just, I don't like the idea of France being so right in the middle of my all my lands there okay okay communists are still in charge because there's no naval base there yeah how are they even eh. okay we're still working on ironclads all right that in there before France has a chance to do anything. Okay, so I think that's as far as I want to go in that direction. I think now it's time to just start picking back up down in here. 
Uh, it's going to cost me some points over here. Uh, factory throughput. Oh, good, good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. Industry. We've got all the low hangings. Culture. Commerce. Factory or organized factories. Output efficiency or prestige. It's kind of nice. Uh, but we're, oh, we dropped down to nine. Unfortunate. Organized factories. Start research. I guess I gotta close that. There we go. Uh, and I'll be able to do this on the 2nd of March. Okay, we're making good money even with the military budget cranked. So that's good. Uh, let's see. Where are you guys? They've got a, what's their supply weight? Is there anything that tells me that's their strength? But I think their, their supply, li supply weight is either 54 or 18. They don't appear to be suffering any attrition right now. Their supply limit is 50. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'll take it. Uh, we should have, yes, some cavalry. Send you up here. I will back at it. There's nothing that I want too badly here. I just want to keep them from... From... Uh, from getting it if I can. Don't want to go to war with it. If it comes to it, I will withdraw. But because that would not be good to go to war with France, I don't think. Oh, there's England. That's fine. I was gonna go for it, but I didn't. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up this one. Just to get that, just in case they conquer some Somaliland there. I don't think they're going to let this go. Uh, let's see, so that's an ironclad. Let's go build navy. Ironclad, ironclad. Close. Yep, they're buying some more parts. That's why that's going in the red right now. We are unpaused. All right, let's go ahead. I need to address something real quick. So I'm going to pause the recording. And with the magic of editing, I will soon be back. And we're back. So where were we? Uh, yes, we are contesting this region down here. Uh, let's go for, for what it's worth, let's see. Ooh, France has moved up to the top. Let's go ahead and increase relations. Just to uh, try and keep them from going to war with me. A little bit nervous. Let's see how this goes. Let's go ahead, you know what, it probably couldn't hurt to increase the size of the standing military over here. So we've got a, our max combat width right now I believe is 20. We've got 14... Regiments? Brigades? We'll call them brigades. Uh, so to get capped up, I need six more units. I don't think I can build six more, can I? I can build, wow, I can build a whole lot in Africa all of a sudden. Uh, let's see. I want, oh, it looks like I can. Okay, so I want six. So I need four infantry. One, two, three, four. And then we'll grab a couple cavalry. And then, finally got some room, we'll grab some artillery in Portugal. Excellent. 
Did I just get like a population boom in Africa or something? Why do I have all these room for all these soldiers all of a sudden? That's strange, but I mean, I'm not going to complain. It's my colonial powers at 74. I know I have a lot tied up right here. Let's see, we've got 18 and 1, so we should have one more cavalry unit floating around somewhere. There we go. Send you up here. Uh, then in that case, let's go ahead and tack on a couple more uh, artillery in Africa. Who's got the largest population? We'll do one there. And one there. there we go. Just grab a couple for right now. Let's not go overboard. Uh, new technology, just in case. Let's get some some stat well i'm doing okay on the money for the moment let's get some let's get some military stats up actually let's go for the artillery bonus now that i'm actually you know what this will affect a larger proportion of my units so we'll go for that right now yeah i figured france was going to come in here i don't think they're going to go after sokoto my i'm paused okay let's undo that Okay, still working on some ironclads. Okay. These are starting to look... Uh oh We're losing the race in North Cameroon. Oops. Let's go ahead. I don't know what this means. What this drift does. I should probably do a little research in terms of when when it goes to war, because I, I just don't want to do that. Bankrupt factories. Oh. That's not good. What's going on? Why? Open. Open. Subsidize. I wonder if that's why my money was doing so good. I suspect that the whatever party took over did not allow me to subsidize. If I had to guess. Uh, let's see. I am starting to make more money now, so let's start to get some stuff increased here. We've got 2,000 Enduro. Now we've got ninth. Oh, let's go ahead and get you employed. That might be why I lost um, industry standing here too. We'll go ahead and open and subsidize. So Duro, what, what do I have in Duro? Oops, let's go ahead and get you up. I'm hoping France will withdraw, but I kind of doubt that they will. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and withdraw. We don't want we don't want to get into a fight with France. We'll let them have it, and instead we'll start justifying on Sokoto. Let's make sure they don't have okay. Justify war. And concession. Uh, 128 days, five infamy if we're detected. Okay. I'll go ahead and do that. Let's get on France's good side again while we're here. And since we're in an alliance with. Uh, uh, or Germany now, uh, then I'm hoping that France will be a little less inclined to protect. 
um, protect Sokoto. Okay, so let's see. Where are we? I think we've got a canned factory that's gone bankrupt. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and go and open them and subsidize it, please. And then we wanted to see what kind of resources we had in Doro. I think what I may end up doing is just increasing that. Yeah, I don't think they have anything worthwhile over here. Uh, so that's what we're going to go with for now. We're unpaused. Let's see. We've got building a, expanding the winery. We can create a protectorate in where? Let's do that. And then upgrade you to a colonial state. All right. See, do any of you guys, what your supply limit is 50. Okay, we'll send you right up in here. Why are they red? That's what I want to know. Attrition. Do I not have, oh. Supply limit 50 for supply limit 54. And yeah, we'll send them down to Pharaoh. Write you guys up. Okay, that's better. Let's see, fifth, first is moving. The second, we've got another straggler, so let's go grab some artillery real quick. Let's see, I don't know which one of you is which. You are my steam transport, we'll send you over here. There we go. Uh, and then the other two, let's see, steam transport. Ironclad, I'll send you up to Lisbon. Okay, and that should be an ironclad. Okay, I think this is where we're going to call it for the day, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I have. If you have, please be sure to do all that YouTube stuff. I would take it as a kindness. And always remember, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. I hope we all learned something today, and I'll see you guys next time.